Today I'll be calling cable. My name is Wilkar Meyer and I'm your Elliott Wave Analyst, reviewing what has been and predicting what is likely to be in cable price action. Alright, so, per the last video, I said that I believe that the uh, A wave top was in, okay? So that's this spot right here where you see the 5 and the A. So the A wave is over, which means we're going to get the B wave. And I said that the B wave would likely retrace to this um, this terminus right here, or yeah, of one, because one is the longest wave within A, and when that's the case, it's going to retrace to within the price span of two. So that's what it's doing. And in the last video, I said that. Um, I thought that this would this move would come down, make a 90% of the up move, right, and then go out and take out that spot at 1.6030, which was the price gap. Okay, so if we go back to the nine-minute chart, let's see if we can find it here. Yeah. yeah, there it is, right there. You see that big gap right there? That's the gap that I said would get filled. Um, before the B wave was over, and this yellow line here at 6031 represents uh, the end of that gap. And as you can see, I believe uh, you had a complex B wave. There was a zigzag for W. Uh, is that right? No, actually, it was a flat. This was A, this was B here, five waves up. So that was a flat, a 335, came down, corrected in three waves for the X wave, and then went up in three waves for the Y wave. So the entire structure was a flat to a zigzag. And it filled that gap just as I predicted, because that's high probability, and now you can see the pound is shooting down. One of the things that I wanted to uh, cover real quick is a little new news item that came out. Uh, let's see here if I can find it real quick. Yeah, hold on. Let's do this. Sorry, I'm all over the place. So, bookmarks. I bookmarked it this morning when I was reading it. Uh, and where is it? Well, I'm not seeing it, so let me go about it a different way. Sorry, I didn't really prepare well for this. I should have already had it up. But anyway, it was at zero hedge. Uh, site I like to read. And they were talking about information leaking uh, with regards to the Bank of England. Let's see if I can find that. There we go. So, at Zero Hedge, and it's on the first page for today, October 16th, they were basically discussing in this article right here the fact that uh, information was leaked, you know, regarding, and it doesn't really matter, what the Bank of England was going to say, right? And so here the analyst circles this... Um, spike here in price and supposedly this is when the leaked information came out but that's all baloney okay and this is why it, this is should be if you if you don't know Elliott Wave you should get familiar with it because all these conspiracy theories all this um, reverse causation <laughs> Nothing that you read in the media is correct. They say that an event happens and it, ex it inspires other events when that's completely not true. The truth of the matter is that uh, the market has a pattern and it follows that pattern and that pattern then creates the events, okay? So here, right here, right? You see this uh, where I put my marker right here, that bar? That's the spike they were talking about, okay? I can go to a three-minute chart so you can see it more clearly. Hang on a second. So here's that spike they were talking about. I'll put a circle around it. This right here is what they were talking about. The information got leaked and it came out. Uh, yet, and once again, here's that bar. I'll put a circle around it so you can see it. 
the steepness of the rise is very consistent with the third wave and C waves are third waves so this would be your A wave right here this would be your B wave and then it comes up in a C wave to finish the Y wave so that's how you get the flat to the zigzag and the steepest part of that rise is the third wave of the C wave so the fact that information got leaked that's meaningless what happened was the pattern completed and therefore you got the move that you would expect in the third wave of a C wave so you can clear out all the noise and the clutter of markets by just understanding the pattern of the market right so if you don't know Elliott Wave you should and you'll find that events like these happen all the time and that are always perfectly explained by the wave pattern and not all these theories that various analysts come up with conspiracy theories data leakage you know even high frequency trading they say that it's uh, bending the market or influencing the market nothing could be further from the truth even with computers the market follows Elliott waves. The reason why? Well, who programs computers? Human beings program computers. And they put their humanity into the program. Okay? Nothing can exist outside the system. So even computers, when they trade, make Elliott waves. Even in the Dow Jones, where over the last few years, 80 to 90% of the trades being made are by computers, and yet it still perfectly follows Elliott waves something to think about. That's today's call. I hope you'll join me again for tomorrow's call.